Hi guys, that's Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here today and we are going to create a beautiful Valentine's uh, nails. So you can have a wee preview of them in here. Yeah, that's a mixture of the things which we are going to paint today and I hope you'll really enjoy it, this tutorial. Also, you'll learn new things as well. Let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see on this channel as I'm trying to produce as many videos as possible, but I'm always here every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So let's start. First of all, I need to paint some background for this design and I'm going to use 217 Flower Garden. It's a kind of nude-ish color, which I feel like it will look really pretty for this design. I actually love the coverage of this gel polish. Uh, I'm really well impressed because those nude colors uh, can be quite difficult to apply and this one is so easy and it, I can see it, guys, it gives a really Beautiful coverage, uh, actually even in a one layer, which I'm so surprised. So I have just painted this background and I'm going to cook it. And do the same on the second one, because we'll probably do a few designs. A little bit more advanced uh, but I want to show you on this channel like a mixture of very easy designs for the beginners but also something more advanced for those of you who are doing uh, nails for a longer time and would like to have something more challenging uh, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult for a change and when my tip is curing uh, I'm going to grab the gel art uh, in a red color on my mixing palette so a small drop of this gel we also gonna need some white gosh cameraman please 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 remind me that I need to at into the website the sp spatulas because <laughs> we've got them and they are not listed on the website <laughs> so this is his responsibility to add them because some of you guys asked me about those spatulas so uh, and I'm always forgetting things like so busy with different stuff but anyway I'm picking up the colors so that's the black one and let's start painting <clears throat> The tip is ready and I'm going to use the mixture of the D-liner and the Tyler brush for this design. Uh, starting with the red, so picking up some red color. And we are going to outline the shape of the lip. I wanted it to be quite decent size. So we're painting the top lip. It's a kind of almost a, um, you know, like when we was a kids, we was painting those beards shape. Uh, so that's a kind of similar shape. 
you want to get. And then we are going to paint half a moon shape. Just to join everything in. Okay, so we've got the top lip background done. And now I can start painting the bottom. And the bottom part, I wanted it to be kind of um, like um, biting the teeth, so I'm going straight. And then twist it. Once I have indicated the shape, I can start coloring it in. And then fill that up. Okay, so here is the place where the teeth are biting the lips. So you want to get those kind of shape. And then once you're happy, we can give it a flash cure. Then on this tip, we are going to paint another lips. So again, this time I'm going to go more into the side. So again, we are painting those M shape. And then half a moon. I can work on the cupid bows to make them more stronger. <laughs> like more defined cupid bows. And then a bit of volume. Everyone likes really big lips now, so we need to make them decent size too. Okay, and then the bottom part. making it kind of a similar shape to the top lip. And then add lots of volume. Okay, once we've got this part done, we can start connecting the lips. So I know I can make them a little bit bigger. I kind of always like to paint a careful, like, uh, you know, uh, painting more of um, the middle parts of the design and then whenever it's necessary, I can, I can adjust the shape. And that's what I'm doing on here now. I'm adjusting the shape.
and correcting it. Okay, now I can correct the inside part. And give it a flash cure. We could actually maybe add more volume on the top as well, why not? Let's make them really big. But keep those cupid bows visible, strongly visible. It's almost like applying lipstick on. <laughs> Okay, this one is flash cured, so I can I can move on into the next step. And we are going to color it in, in black. So I'm using a tiny bit of the top coat, so drop of the top coat, my red, and then the slightest drop of the black because we want to add some shadows in there. The tiniest amount ever of the black and the top coat. And we are going to, actually I'm going to swap to the D-liner brush now. And we're going outside the lip. So this way we will add some dimension to it. Okay, I want this shadow to go on the top as well. And this way also I'm perfecting the shape of the lips. almost like painting a lip liner now. I know we normally when we paint the lips we start with the lip liner but in this case it is easier when we're painting to do the lips first and then outline it. I also want to outline a little bit uh, inside and in this corner get the shadow visible there. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, same on this pair of lips. You have to be very careful to don't have too much black uh, in your brush, in your mixture. There is a slightest touch of the black in there. And again in a corner, slightly darker. and then give it a flash cure. Okay, let's paint the teeth. So I'm going to clean my brushes. I want them to be really nice and precise. Pick up some white. I 
and then we are going to paint the teeth. This uh, two teeth are on top of the lip because this lip is kind of beaten, biting. And then hardly visible teeth on the bottom. And then give it a flash kill. Then another set of the teeth. And then give it a flash cure. <clears throat> okay, let's swap for the black because we are going to paint the inside of the mouth now and also make our teeth uh, more visible and more separated. So I'm picking up my black, hardly any product on my brush. And ideally what you want to do is fill up this space, this empty space first. hardly any product on the brush. I'm just going to clean it so the brush behaves nice. I'm just cleaning my brush, sorry. Cleaning it really well, making sure it's flexible and it behaves because I want to show you that I don't have almost product on my brush. This is plenty, you don't need any more. And I'm going to divide the teeth which is uh, on the bottom. So I'm grabbing the product which I already have got in there and just peeling the tiniest line ever. And tiniest liner ever. Okay, so this way we've got some teeth. I'm picking up this black with the drop of the red. And I'm going to define the shape on the bottom. We've got the bottom teeth sorted. Now I'm going to paint the top teeth. And I've got some product in there so I can keep using this product. But first of all, I want to find the middle. So this is my middle and this is where I'm going to have the first gap in the teeth. Can camera catch it actually? <laughs> Okay, so I've got the first gap in the teeth. And then going to paint the next one. I've got the second one. And another one. Okay, so this way we have painted uh, the teeth. And now I'm going to add the definition 
in the corner there. So I've got my black, mix it with the red. Because the teeth are giving a shadow there. Fix the outline and then give it a flash cure. Okay, we are going to paint the teeth in here. So again, I need to clean my brush. And pick up some black. I want some uh, more black this time because uh, the slits are more open and the bottom teeth aren't visible. And then I... And then once I've got this part done, I can draw the first gap second and then the next one give it a flash cure using the white we are going to uh, but white mixed with the top coat, we are going to kind of minimize those black lines because you don't want them to be too strong. So what I'm doing is I've got my black, my, I've got my white with the top coat and I'm just going to perfect those teeth. You don't want them black to be too strong. Clean the brush and I'm going to minimize the shape of the teeth in here. Like I want this teeth to be a little bit shorter. Okay, we need to make those lips a little bit more life uh, because they aren't. And I'm going to place one more drop of the white to fix the teeth. So drop of the white with the top coat even. and just improve the shape.
Okay, and then we want to put some uh, highlights in there. So again, lots of top coat. Into our white, the Tyler brush. Drop of the red. So we've got kind of uh, see-through pink and then start highlighting it. Okay, so I've got sometimes hardly almost any product in there. I want the light to be more on the one side. And then give it a flash cure. <coughs> Same on this one. And the flash cure. Okay, now I'm going to pick up more white into my mixture. And we are going to add a slightly more detail, like a more of a highlight. And then the small dot. As you can see it, I'm working on the places where we have put those uh, mixture with the top cut. Just to make it a prettier, give it a flash cure. And same on this one. I'm pressing harder and then I'm dragging. You don't want to too much. We dot. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, this lips are going to hold some sherry. So I've got my black and a deliner brush. And I'm just grabbing some and painting some sherry. I have made the mistake. <laughs> Sorry guys, the phone is vibrating here now. We've got someone trying to call us. That's it, it's gone. I can concentrate again. Okay, so that's a sherry. I'm going to flash cure it. Okay, and then once it is cured, we can, oh, no, it's not this one, <laughs> we can start painting uh, the cherries. So I'm picking up the red.
I'm painting one cherry. And the second cherry. Okay, straight away I'm going into my mixture where I've got the red and the black. Drop off top coat and add a slightest shadow in the bottom and where the sherry is uh, starting. Then give it a flash kill. Okay, these lips are finished, so I'm just going to apply the top coat over it. And then once we put the top coat, everything always looks much, much prettier. And give it a cure. On this one tiny bit of the highlights, so the same which the same mixture which we have used for the lips. And we are just highlighting our sh our, our sherries. <laughs> Cook it in. I will quickly show you one more, so we've got three. So I'm just going to paint the same color. Make sure there is no dust particles because they are always annoying. And then give it a cook. We can apply the top coat on the lips with sherry. I actually really like them. These ones are so nice. I'm checking how the light reflects the top coat. And then when I'm happy, I can cure it. Okay, so on. Okay, they are cooking and this one is ready. So I can just put it on our display. So we've got the lips number one. Then some hearts, oh, that's is cooking. And then we are going to quickly paint some hearts in here. So I'm cleaning my brush, picking up the red. And we are painting a heart shape. Color that in. Perfect the shape. And then paint another one behind it.
color in. And then pick up the drop of the black and a red and a top coat and just gives a little shadow here. Just because this heart is behind it. Give it a flash cure. The second lips are ready. So I've got the second lips which we have painted and then we can because the red didn't cure it yet I'm going to quickly draw a couple of the smaller hearts so using the dotting tool Using a dotting tool for a small heart is so quick. Then give it a flash cure again, and then we will use some white. So I clean it my deliner brush, flash cure a couple seconds, and then we are going to Go through this heart with the white. Then a small one in there. And another puncture here. Triangle shape. And a feather on the top. Okay, give it a flash cure. Clean your brush really well so there is hardly any product on it and we are going to add the detail and black. Sorry, I'm not going to talk through this process because it's a really Small detail. Don't worry if some places are even almost not touched. Um, you're better off having them empty than too black, uh, too strong black. And then the puncture, puncture place. So you want to indicate on the heart that it has been punctured. I don't know the English name for it, so it's almost like a weak rose. Sh 
show this place as well. Go around the top. And then where the feathers are. Okay, once you're happy, give it a cure and we can top coat it. You could also go over the, actually, we will go over the heart as well quickly. So, flash cure, red and black. Do not use black on its own. It will be too strong, like black is a really tricky color to work with. You can even put a drop of the top coat in there. And we are going to perfect the shape of the heart. Same the one on the top. And then give it a cure. After that, we can put the top coat and we've got three beautiful Valentine's Day design, like a mixture of different things. Um, all the products I have used today, they will be listed in the description of this video and you can get it from our website. So I need to cure it a little bit longer because with those flash cures for like two, three seconds, it wasn't cure enough so there we are and then I can apply the top coat that's my problem I always under cure the products for the for the tutorials so apply the top coat and this is the beautiful heart shape which we have created cook it in and then I can just put it to this collection and show you all three uh, design which we have done today I hope you have guys really enjoy it if you did please hit the share buttons so others can find this uh, channel as well uh, as I'm really trying to uh, grow it as big as possible um, and it also gives me a motivation as well like obviously if I see the video had like you know a few thousand views it's kind of rewarding compared to a 1000 views so I will really appreciate it and uh, that's what we have created Today I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.